All righty, welcome to the remote campus uh, at my screen in porch, at least right now, while it's starting to rain. Um, before we get started next week, I wanted to give you a quick update about what's going on with the class, and hopefully you've read the stuff that's on D2L, um, but I kind of want to walk through some of those changes. So first thing that I wanted to do is, since we're on here, I'm viewing as a student, is these weekly announcements I used to do, I will continue to do, but they're going to be less structured than they were before because I'm going to move to a uh, thing in D2L called a checklist. Um, so the checklist will hopefully provide a little more structure and allow us to do, um, both for you and me, make sure that we're covering the things that we need to be so we can get through with things. Um, so if you want to see what the checklist looks like, I'm logged in as a student right now, so you'll be able to see this. I'm currently still working on this one for the next week, and so I will have to add some things. But what I'm going to do is put in some structure to hopefully help guide us through the rest of the course. So for next uh, week, I've got some reading from chapter 20, which is our last material before the next exam. And these links just go to Wiley Plus. They just, I just copy and paste them, so they're all in the same bit. Um, and then below those, I will add in, I haven't done it yet, my uh, like presentations that I would have done in class with some extra notes. And then I've also added some optional things here. So I consider these optional because they're just supplementary. And those can be videos from me. So I have two videos from me. Um, these are uh, from a previous course, but they follow the same content. Um, this is missing the link right now, so I need to fix this, but uh, PBS had a bunch of um, academic sort of videos made up from um, different fields, and in ours they have a case on physics, and so there's some nice videos from them um, that I'll link here. I forgot to put the link in. And then to give you one more resource, again, this textbook doesn't use the same notation we do for vectors, but it does, uh, it's the OpenStack textbook, and it does cover the same sort of content. So you will we'll, we'll need to figure out a way to learn the content without my face right in front of you necessarily the entire time. Um, I'll also have those um, quiz components. So down in here, I'll put in links to D2L uh, clicker questions or written out problems. I have not moved those over yet, but I'm working on it. Um, so on each clicker attempt, you'll have five, uh, I'm sorry, each clicker question, you'll have five attempts. So just work till you get it right. Um, and then you'll get the one point that's available for that one. Um, we'll also have some written out problems. I just am going to ask you to submit a written answer with units, and I don't need to see your work, although if you want to put it in there, that's fine. You can just take a picture with your phone and submit that. It'll be in the short answer form, so you can just submit that. And those will be worth two points, one for the answer, one for the units. There'll be a lot more clicker questions and written out problems, just like there were in class, and so this should still be a relatively low stakes way to get some easy points. But again, it's extra practice for you guys um, that you wouldn't otherwise have. We'll still have homework, so there's a homework due. In this case, it's not due till the week after next because of the next exam, and I'll talk more about that as we move through this towards next week. And then down here, there'll be the labs, and I still need to add in, as I mentioned, the presentations, and I also need to still add in the uh, computational assignments that are going to be here. Um, so we'll do that as we get going. If we come back to the class page, again, there's an announcements here. So something that's new is you'll see there's Zoom office hours. So if you click on these, um, when it's time for my office hours, I'm just going to do Tuesdays and Thursdays, 2 to 3. That seemed like a common time, but if we need to shift that, we can. Um, anyway, if you click on this link, it will take you directly to my um, Zoom room where we'll have, uh, we can do face-to-face -face, um, sort of interaction and talk about what's going on in the class or if you have questions. And then in addition is another way to help that. I've added some discussions. So say you can't make the Zoom office hours and you're like, I, I need some help still. I've got two different discussion boards open that everybody should be able to post to. Um, so this one down here is intended to be about coursework. So maybe you have questions about broad content questions, like what the heck am I doing with my right hand rule? Or you have a specific homework problem questions or glow script issues, we can do those there. And you can just make a new thread in there, and then people can respond to that topic. That should also help maybe you help each other as we move through the rest of the semester. And then this one, I'm hoping no one will have to use. This is something, to, uh, a discussion board I'm trying to use to keep track as if people are having trouble. So if your internet dies for three days because there's a line down or something, um, if you can use your phone at least or something to let me know or let someone else know that that's happening, then we can work on getting that straightened out. Um, so those are, again, some ways to do that. You can also come up here to more tools and try chat. This chat is incredibly um, basic. It literally is just plain text chat. Um, so you can't even put pictures or anything in there. So I think if you have questions, um, either try to do office hours or we can schedule a separate Zoom meeting if you can't make those. 
um, or use the discussion boards again and maybe put these down in here. We can try to do that. So in these discussion boards, you can put in text, you can upload figures, uh, pictures from your phone and things like that. Um, so if we go back here again, so please read through the long plan here. This announcement's going to stay unless you um, click it away. So if you close this, it'll, it'll disappear, but you'll still be able to find it under the announcements if you need to. Um, but if we go back here to the home, I don't know why I did that. I could have just gone straight to content. Um, if you come to content, if you go under here and under the syllabus section, there's two new things. So I've put a link to my Zoom room again, just in case you're missing it from somewhere else. And then I've also put in the specific details from that announcement about how the grades were changed. So in particular, um, I had to do midterm grades based on what we have done up to this point face to face. And then I made a short um, post here to explain exactly how I changed the grades to represent everything. So all the new things will have Corona in front of them to remind us that they're tied to the coronavirus. Um, so I think that's all of the big changes. I'll have more videos, obviously, when we get to the test to explain how we're going to deal with tests. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through email or through the Zoom office hours or something else.